What is good, everybody? Happy Thursday. I'm in high spirits right now because I am just happy to be making another video back here reunited with y'all. It's been over a month since I put anything out, but I'm fucking ready. I've been desperate, deprived of music. It seems like the whole entire music sphere is just going in a drought right now. No big time artists have dropped well bef besides young thug we don't have too many drops this year it's been a quiet year out in the streets honestly but i feel like a lot of artists are gearing up to drop huge projects i know we're gonna see a comeback from kendrick fingers crossed um right now i'm about to get into this younger gentleman's music but we that we've been anticipating as well. I know after this EP that he's gonna drop a whole album. So I'm eager. I'm ready. I'm at the edge of my seat. My palms are sweaty. I'm itching. I'm feening for some new shit to drop. So all you artists out there, you know what time it is. But now we're gonna get into the fucking music. This gentleman here has a beautiful insight on life. You can hear it through his music. He has something to say at all times, whether that's social injustice, whether that's mental health. He talks about a slur of issues that go on in the world, in his head, in his daily life. He's really good at articulating himself and communicating how he perceives the world and what he's taken out of life. Let's get to the music because I've done too much talking. So this is just a four pack, four songs, four singles. This one comes with a video, but we're gonna get into, well, one of them comes with a video and that's More Life with Q-Tip, but we're gonna get into Dream and Color because that's the one that I've been anticipating that he showed on his Instagram. Here we go. Now, when he put the snippet out, I was like, oh shit, this shit sounds like Kanye and Chance came over just to produce this. This is some real Chance the Rapper, Kanye, gospel choir vibe, and I love it. I dream in color, and I sleep on a canvas. I think we all need each other. Just off the bat, this is the shit I'm talking about right here. I think we all need each other. Empathy could be our advantage. Ooh. This world sometimes lacks a lot of empathy. Empathy, love, compassion. Mix that shit together. And you got a lot of people unifying and sharing and spreading love, baby. That's all it takes. It could be that simple. Bad bitch speak Creole and Spanish. She looked this way, then I'm liking my chances. Oh man, why I go on these tangents? Birds eye view, this shit panoramic. Still fighting off my paranoia. Shit too real, just fire my lawyer. Trust issues, I'm needing to fix it. That could be an empire destroyer. You see what happened? That could be an empire destroyer. His paranoia, because he just fired his lawyer. So he said, I'm dealing with my own shit. My demons, my insecurities. That he has to fight through on a daily because that could, that shit can ruin an empire. What all this shit that he's built up at the snap of a finger. That's why you gotta move with your team, tread lightly, know who you're surrounding yourself by. That's important to build an empire. Julius Caesar, Stevie Wonder told me you are a leader. My girl at four fed a tennis match to me. My grandmama met she truly a keeper. Oh wait wait hold on, he says something about Naomi. Let's rewind it. I'm gonna get teared eye. Match to me, my grandmama, man. She truly girl at forfeit the Caesar. Stevie one to talk to you a leader. My girl at forfeit a tennis match to me, my grandmama, man. She truly a keeper. My girlfriend forfeited a tennis match. Oh, I'm a cry. <laughs> I'm an emotional being, okay? Um, he said my girl forfeited a tennis match. And you know, she top one, one, one. He said like, she forfeited that shit just to come meet my grandma. That's how you know she truly a keeper. So, I mean, 
A lot of people will say, how can you forfeit nothing as is important as your craft? Dedicate yourself. You got to sacrifice. But sometimes the sacrifice is putting off your passion just for a little bit, just for a day to go do something that truly is going to be remarkable and rewarding in your real life. Like that, that's that's where it's hard to balance, bro. You go, do you go to this basketball game or do you go, like he said, meet my grandmother for the first time? Um, that's where you gotta weigh out your options and ultimately make the best judgment. But that's when you know if she be doing shit like that. That's when you know you can't hold someone down. You gotta hold someone up, baby. Can I get a fucking amen? Wait, is that him? Wait, 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 that's him. Maybe that's the difference from other niggas making bad decisions. Good music that attract the business. My last album was a fucking classic. You can listen to that shit from start to finish. <laughs> talk your shit. Corday, talk your shit. He said, my last album, that shit was a classic. You can listen to it from start to finish. Oh, and he just warming up. He just warming up too. This guy's what, like 23? They compare him to the Kendricks and Coles already, so... Keep an eye out for this kid. I'm telling you, he's he's going places. And along with Jid, too. Jid is another outstanding, phenomenal artist. I mean, that's next level type shit, both of them. <laughs> Did y'all hear that shit? I drive a Honda Civic with the windows titted. There ain't no pretending because he had a fucking lamb truck too. But he said that shit was rented. Be transparent. Oh my God. And that shit from my grandparents. I've been meditating, trying to gain clearance. But this life shit is incoherent as a bitch. Wonder why I'm so down with this shit. Single mom, no co parents. And this bitch used to walk to the library for the Wi Fi. I was like, folk cares in that bitch. But what's your purpose? What's your motives? What's your dreams? What's your goals? Is? Are your thoughts pure? Are you focused? It's a real nigga. Diagnosis. Are your friends real? Or He's asking you. He said, let me go through this list real quick. I hope you could check it off. Is your heart pure? Let's see. Let, let me run it back. Your thoughts pure. Are you focused? It's a real nigga. Ready? Bitch, but what's your purpose? What's, what's your, your purpose? motives? What's your dreams? What's your goals? Is? Are your thoughts pure? Are you focused? It's a real nigga. Diagnosis. Are your friends real? Are they bogus? Are they by your side at your lowest? Though I'm not so easily broken. But at times, I feel hopeless. I Bitches, how I won't stress over nothing. I don't listen to the public opinion. Their portrayal, it is just an assumption. I don't really know what a nigga been fighting for, but I'm fighting for it. And every song that I read, God be saving lives. I'm typing for it. If I shoot my shot, push mm, like a shot. And if I get in line, it's a kick from the map record. at the cover it says just until see you soon album almost done oh i'm excited now that if it don't give you chills it don't give you thrills i love this shit right there i'm gonna definitely add that to my playlist re-listen re-listen and fully absorb it and process it because I think that was beautiful. I loved how he even uh, 
he got into his singing bag a little. An amazing track. I did my standards and predictions. So all you can say to that is good shit. That was my review reaction.